Hi viewers, welcome to Alamo Solution. Today we are going to see about PV powered EV charging with the grid. So this is a simulation model we developed for PV powered EV charging with the grid integration. So this model will be work based upon uh, two mode of operation. So that means uh, if suppose the PV power is available then it will be used for charge the EV battery alone for example if PV having power like 50 kilowatt right so then and that 50 kilowatt fully used for charge this EV battery up to the SOC level up to 95 percent each okay so when uh, SOC is in between 0 to 95 percent each so then uh, whatever power generated from the solar PV so that going to be used to for charge the battery when EV uh, battery is battery SOC is greater than 95 percent is then whatever power generated from the PV going to be given to the grid so this uh, mode of operation we are going to explain in the the PV powered EV charging with the grid integration and also we can uh, charge the EV battery by using grid also when there is no power in the uh, PV so in this video we only explain about this concept uh, that mean uh, if PV power available then how we are going to charge the EV, EV battery by using PV alone and if associated with battery is more than 80 percentage then how we are going to transfer the power of the generated power from the PV to that uh, grid so this concept you have to explain in this simulation model so this is a simulation model having a grid of 154 megawatt with a rating of 34.5 kilo volt and then it going to be stepped down to 400 volt and then it will be connected to the point of common coupling so this is a point of common coupling and uh, here we have inside we have uh, uh, PV panel so PV panel rating is around uh, 24.94 kilowatt around 25 kilowatt and then uh, it will be connected to the boost converter so in order to boost the voltage from uh, around so here you can see that uh, voltage will be 329 so it when we push the voltage from 329 to around 470 volt so by using this boost converter and this boost converter going to be controlled by means of PM and MBPT and then output of this point right so this is a DC link common point for PV and the EV battery so in this point we are going to connect the EV battery via that birational converter so here we have a pin to MBPT so this pin to MBPT going to be used to for control that boost converter that means here we are going to measure the PV voltage and current and then you have to generate the reference voltage that reference voltage will be combined with the PV voltage and then you going to be processed by PA controller and then it will be generated the duty cycle it will be processed by a periodic generator so that will be generated the pulse to control this boost converter so next thing is uh, inverter control so here we have inverter and uh, harmonic filter okay so here you have to measure the voltage and current so that voltage and current will be converted into vd and vq so here we are applying that abc to dq that means inverter voltage and current converted into dq not form by using power transformation VD and VQ, ID and IQ and then so here we are fixing the current, uh, current reference so already I told that it have two modes of operation so when SOC of the battery is in between 0 to 95 percentage and if there is a power from the PV then is directly going to be charged the battery if SOC of the battery is more than 95 percentage so what all power we are generating from the PV that might be sent to the grid so far then here we have created this logic so here we are comparing that SOC of the battery if SOC of the battery is greater than 95 percentage 
so we are generating the reference current okay based upon the pv power and it going to be act as id reference if uh, associate the uh, battery ev battery is less than 80 percentage okay so the id reference will be zero that means inverter has won't work during this condition that means uh, if associate battery is less than 85 percentage then the power of pv going to be used for charge the battery okay so here you have uh, id reference iq reference and then going to be compared with the id uh, iq actual and then process via current controller and again here you are going to convert that uh, that means vdvq control voltage in the form of abc and then it going to be process a pdwf generator so it will be generated the controls signal for that uh, inverter to control that current of the inverter so next in uh, here you can start already explain this this is a dc bus point right here we are going to connect that uh, ev battery via this birational converter and this bus voltage will be going to be controlled at uh, 470 volt so here we are going to measure the uh, dc link voltage and it going to be combined with the reference voltage and going to be processed via PA controller and it going to be processed via pdlm generator so output of PA controller is to the cycle so it going to be processed via this pdlm generator so it will be generated the pulse so this pulse going to be used for control this bioelectric converter now to maintain DC bus voltage around 470 as well as based upon that current reference generation the main uh, PV power can be used to charge the battery if SOC is less than 90 percentage if more than 90 percentage then the PV power will be a given to grid so here we have different kind of scope so here you can see the uh, power power scope grid power solar PV power battery power that we need battery power and then so this is a voltage and current at a point of common coupling that means here so here you can see that uh, voltage and current and this scope used to for measure the battery voltage current and power associated of the battery so in here we are fixing irradiation equal to 1000 and temperature equal to 25 degrees celsius so i'm going to simulate this model so here you can see the duty cycle and dc link voltage of the dc bus so this is a point of common coupling voltage and current so you will see the detail here here you can see the power generation from the PV is around 20 around 2021 20, so the same power used to for charge the EV battery the power sent to the grid will be zero because uh, the SOC of the battery right? here you can see that the SOC of the battery is less than 50 percentage only so less than 90 percentage only so that's why the, there is no power going to be sent to that uh, grid okay so water power generation from the PV right it going to be used for charge the battery so here you can see that so water power, power generated from the PV it going to be used for charge the battery so both power is almost uh, same okay uh, here you can see that power will be negative negative means battery in charging mode condition okay so here you can see that is the and the duty cycle for the bidirectional converter and then this is the dc link voltage so here you can see that the voltage and current right current will be zero maintained at zero okay because uh, the con control logic that may id reference equal to zero here mentioned because soc of the battery is less than 80 percent okay so here you can see that this is a voltage of the battery this is the current of the battery and then power of the battery now i'm going to change the condition and then i'm going to check the result so here i'm going to mention uh, battery SOC is equal to 94.9 so 99 okay so 98 okay now I'm going to simulate this model. Now 
now you can see that uh, so same condition right whatever power generated for generating from pv is given to battery for charging because it's not uh, more than 90 percentage is keep on increasing okay once again change this condition So we wait for simulation, right? So here you will see that after it going be reach 95 percentage, right? So there will be a power exchange from PV to grid. So the battery never get power from the PV. Still the current at the point of common coupling is zero. Okay, wait for some time because it won't be reached 90 percentage. Now, now you can see that when it reaches more than 90 percentage, right? So, what will be happen? So, water power we are generating that power will be sent to that grid, okay? And then here battery power goes to zero, okay? Battery uh, not getting any power from the PV. So, water power we are generating, so that power will be given to grid. And here also you can see that uh, so the current right the point of common coupling having sinusoidal current and both are in phase with each other that means voltage and current both are in, in phase with each other and here you can see that the current of battery is close to zero the battery power goes to zero and then here you can see that the SOC of the EV battery is maintained at the 90 percentage okay so what what does mean right uh, as per that condition we provided in the inverter control right uh, when SOS is uh, reach more than 80 percentage it stop taking power from the PV and water power we are generating from the PV that going to be sent to the grid so this is the two mode of operation can be PV powered uh, EV charging with the grid integration so so this is a working of model thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye